Acorn, Acorn <laughs> Hill breakdown, yeah. <laughs> Which is a Tommy Jackson tune. I think it's, uh, it might be one he wrote, actually, because I've only ever seen, I haven't seen anything earlier than his recordings of him playing it. From like the late 50s, you know, all those records he did that said square dances without calls. Mm -hmm. They were on the Dot label, which was like a budget capital records label. Okay, let's see if I can try it here. A-C-O-R-N, yeah, Acorn Hill. Two words, but I say Acorn for yeah, that's Acorn. Okay. I just want to make sure I got the right spelling. Yeah, I'll, well, that'll be part of the final exam, how to pronounce Acorn. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to, to order to graduate on Friday, you'll have to say Acorn just to, you know. I'm not Acorn good in tests. So. <laughs> breakdown, is it breakdown or something? Breakdown, yeah, Acorn Hill breakdown. What makes something a breakdown as opposed to a real? It's just a different name, you know. But it's a, but yeah, it's two. It's in two four, real in the in the North America or in in American fiddling because it's not the same in Canada, but in American like you know country fiddle, mm -hmm. if you see breakdown hornpipe or reel, it's the same kind of tune. Yeah, you know, whereas it's not the same in of course in Celtic music uh -huh. or up in Canada or whatever. But uh, yeah, if you see like something hornpipe, they're gonna play it like it's a reel or like a breakdown. I think breakdown comes from the old, it's like language from square dancing, you know. Mm -hmm. 